What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just came out with a brand new newsletter. This one is called Weapon Audio Showcasing, brought to you again by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager at Void Interactive. This just literally came out like a second while I was doing a bunch of other videos, so I thought that I would go through this with you all. It starts out by saying, Hey, everybody, it's time for the 18th bi weekly briefing for Ready or Not, the second of a third part series stretching over several weeks covering the game's audio design. In this segment, we're going to look at updated weapon audio with a particular focus on how recognizing gun sounds are an integral part of Ready or Not's gameplay loop. Okay, continuing on. Weapon Showcase M4A1, M45A1, and the Python. Nice. Over the course of Ready or Not's development, we have continued to iterate upon our weapon audio for a realistic, tactics-oriented police shooter. Having gun sounds that feel authentic and keep you in the moment are crucial for the experience. As such, we've taken a lot of feedback about our gun sounds over the last few months and have been hard at work redesigning the ones we didn't feel were were up to snuff. Yeah, so if you guys don't remember, uh, they released an update that showed like their newer versions of the gun sounds and it just like they didn't sound good. I remember a lot of people complaining about them. And then when they started showing like their new upgraded shotgun sounds, it sounded a hell of a lot better than what we got previously. But anyways, in the below videos, you'll hear the M4A1 assault rifle, the M45A1 pistol, and Python revolver in action. For each of these weapons, we recorded them in use both in an external environment, the city streets, and an internal one in a parking garage. And we got the first video here. I'll also do a comparison video of the previous gunshot sounds just to show you like the difference, I guess. So I'm going to show you the previous one and then I'm going to show you the newer one side by side so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and get into that. Here is the old audio for the M4A1. Cover reloading. And that was that. Definitely sounds a hell of a lot better than the one that's currently in the alpha. Can't wait to get it. So it just occurred to me that these two pistols aren't actually in the game. These are actually newer pistols. And the ones that I was thinking of was the M2011 and the M1911 that are currently in the game, not the M45. The only way that you can use the M1911 is if you're playing as the VIP, but ain't nobody got time for that. And I was thinking that the Python was the Magnum, but those are two different guns apparently. So I was wrong. Sorry. There won't be a comparison, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just show off the video here, the new audio. Video. let's get into it up next we got the m45a1 which is probably like my favorite looking pistol to be honest Pretty cool, pretty cool. I really like the way that this sounds. I just love the way that this 45 looks. And now we've got the Python.
definitely a gorgeous sounding weapon. Can't wait to try it out whenever the alpha gets updated so I can slay some fool. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to their weapons here, and they all sound pretty good. Definitely a big step up from the previous update that they showed that one time. Like, I look at that update and it's like, wow, that's a sorry excuse for weapon sounds right there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description so you can see the original sounds that they released. Like, compare that to this, you'll see, like, the huge difference between the ones that they tried to sell us on and these ones that they improved on, I guess. So let's move on to the next thing here. It continues on to say, Red and Knot's guns play an intristic role in the information gathering necessary to prepare for dangerous and potentially deadly encounters. Being able to determine where a gun is, being able to determine where a gun is being fired from, whether it's several rooms over, on the floor above you, or in the basement will all help you better understand the situation and the level as it develops. Yeah, I mean, sound could definitely be crucial, especially when you're playing games like Escape from Tarkov, you know? One problem that I have with that freaking game is that sometimes the sounds don't always work, you know? Like, you won't hear footsteps or you hear the footsteps, but it sounds like they're coming from a different direction where you think it is. So, I mean, sounds definitely gonna be crucial in a game like this, especially if you want to hear where somebody's coming from, you know? I'm very curious to know how Red or Not's gonna do it because I've played a lot of indie game tactical shooters and nine times out of ten, like, they almost never get the freaking audio right. Like, some come close, but the ones that really frustrate me are when there's audio, like, above and down below. Like, sometimes I can't tell something that was above me or down below or how far someone or something is from my location. It's all just guesswork on my part in a lot of games. And Ready or Not also has that issue of having background music, so how are they going to balance that out? And I'm definitely going to keep it on because it really pays homage to Swap 4, you know. But I hear that there's quite a bit of people, at least in my previous video, the comment section, that were saying that they're probably going to turn off the background music audio. So to me, trying to balance all that out just sounds like a lot of work. So I'm actually curious to see how they're going to do that. But anyways, in conclusion, this concludes their 18th bi-weekly briefing, the second part of their three-part series, checking out the game's audio design. So that was it for that. What are your guys' thoughts? I definitely think that these gun sounds sound a hell of a lot better than what's in the current alpha build. The 45 and the Python are definitely two weapons that I would like to try as soon as they get added in. And yeah, so before I go, there were two updates that were recently uploaded to their Twitter, which I'll briefly go over them for a second. I saw these got posted, but I didn't think that it was, you know, video worthy. So I guess I thought that I would stick them in here. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so the first one that they released is called Blood and Broken Bodies, Scared Shambling Survivors. Be quick, lives are on the line. And it shows a picture of what it looks like somebody who worked at a hotel here with multiple dead bodies around her. She's standing there like she's stunned. Probably because all the SWAT officers shot all the bad guys without killing her. I mean, I think I'd be stunned too. If the SWAT officers put an outline around me, I'd probably be in shock. Looks like there's an Uzi on the floor right next to this guy. I think that's actually a white supremacist guy, it looks like. Yeah, because the white supremacists have, judging by the trailer, the original trailer, they have like these like jean t-shirts. I'm not sure if that's how you call them. And they don't really have like shoulder shirts or I don't know what the hell you call those. But yeah, so this is obviously the hotel. Uh, they've been advertising that like crazy. Like the hotel's become the new meth map lately that they kept advertising. And yeah, so pretty cool picture here. The next one that they dropped was take a trip to the Wonderly Hotel. While you're here, why don't you stop by Ricky's bar to wet your whistle? Oh. Calm down, Void. This is a family-friendly program. I say that with my two fingers going up and down. But anyways, we hope you enjoy your stay, as it shows a hallway with a dead civilian, or maybe one that's choking out, looking at Ricky's bar. You know, it's funny, I was playing Black Ops 3 the other day, and I was thinking to myself, wow, this would actually look like a good picture for, like, a loading screen, you know, for Black Ops 3. The zombies map. Just tilt it a little, add a little old-timey film to it. <laughs> But anyways, so once again, this is the hotel next to the- is that the gift shop? I believe that's the gift shop on the left there. Uh, if I remember seeing that from uh, the video that they showed not too long ago. And that seems to be it for Ready or Not news, so I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, just send two bucks a month, it really helps. If you're someone that's brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. We recently hit 10k and I wanna keep going. Will you help out a channel in need? With that all being said, I wanna thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.